Hello everyone. I hope all of you are fine. Dear students, it's been a long time we did not see you because of COVID-19 lockdown. I think all of you are fine. Students, in this hour of crisis, the teachers of uh, Paragon Junior College are doing smart work. They are making YouTube videos to help you to utilize your time properly. Our video lectures are being sent to you for last many days and I am sure most of you or rather almost all you watch the videos and you are benefited. Well today I myself Sadiq Chaudhary, teacher of English of Paragon Junior College is here to discuss with you the total, the entire syllabus of class 12 English. Syllabus is important because if you do not know the syllabus, you will miss the main theme, the main gist of the subject English which I can say. English subject is very interesting. Interesting in the sense you will know many things which are even related to your daily life. And there are some stories which you can relate sometimes with your personal life also. Well, without wasting uh, any much time, let me straightway come to the point of discussion. First, I will write down the syllabus on the board for your better understanding and then I will discuss the total syllabus in detail. Well, here we go. English syllabus, class 12. Total marks, 100. The syllabus of English consists of 100 mark. There are four subdivisions in the total syllabus. I will write the total syllabus now. Here are the total syllabus. Section A. Section A is uh, reading skills. Reading skills consists of 10 marks. Section B. Section B. Advanced writing skills. Advanced writing skills consists of 25 marks. Section C. Grammar. Consists of 20 marks. In section D. In section D, the two uh, prescribed textbooks are there. There are two textbooks. The main textbook is Flamingo, from which you will have 30 marks. And there is one supplementary reader. Name of that book is Vistas, and from that book you have 15 marks. Flamingo. Section D prescribed books. The main textbook is Flamingo and supplementary reader is Vistas. From Flamingo you have 30 marks. From Vistas you have 15 marks. 15 marks. 
So here is the complete syllabus. Now just let us count one, once. 10 plus 25 plus 20 plus 30 plus 15 is 100. So here is the total syllabus of class 12. Now I will break the each I will break each sections and show you what are the topics included in each section to make you understand better. Well now we shall start discussing a very interesting chapter from the supplementary reader. The name of the story is The Tiger King written by Kalki. Kalki is the pen name. His full name is uh, Ramaswami Krishnamurti. He was a uh, Tamil writer, poet, critic, and an, and, uh, an activist. He was born in 1899 and died in 19. 54. He wrote the interesting story, The Tiger King. Now, before going uh, to the story, let us just discuss the title, The Tiger King. Uh, see the title, The Tiger King. The king is called Tiger here. Whenever uh, we read the word Tiger or write the word Tiger, what comes in our mind? Tiger is something of a very powerful, courageous, strong kind of animal. Same is the case here. The king who is the hero, the protagonist of the story is all powerful like a tiger. He was very courageous. He was very you know, stubborn in his decision because of which he is compared to tiger even. And he is named as the Tiger King. So this way the title of the chapter is The Tiger King. Now what is the main theme of the story of the Tiger King? The Tiger King is really an interesting story. You will enjoy reading the story because there are many interesting facts mentioned by Kalki in the story The Tiger King. Now see what is the theme of the story? The theme of the story is it's a satire. It's a satire on the pride of those in power. It's a satire of what? Of the people who are in power. Sometimes it's seen that people misutilize their power. In the long days back, if we move to uh, 100 years back, we'll see that most of the rulers, they were not interested in serving the people. They were busy uh, enjoying their own life and that is the main problem. The tiger king who was all powerful, who thought he could achieve even the unachievable, ultimately and at last had to surrender his life. He met his death at last, we will see in the text, is because of a tiger. So it's not actually fair to have excessive pride on anything. Yes, power is required, power is important, but we should not be we should not take too much pride on the power or whatever we have. Well, uh, now there are some important characters which you have to know before moving uh, to the discussion of the story. 
characters are very important because if you know the characters before this coming to the discussion of the story that will help you in knowing or understanding the story better now see the first character here i have written all the characters which are there in the story the first character is the tiger king the king himself he is the hero of the story he is also called the maharaja of pratibandhapuram pratibandhapuram is a place in which from which from where the tiger king belong from so the tiger king is the main hero of the story he is called the maharaja of pratibandhapuram many uh, names are attached to his name that is because of his power <coughs> the next character is the chief astrologer <coughs> chief astrologer he is a fortune teller or a foreteller of the state when the king was born in this story you will see the chief astrologer had predicted that the king would die because of a tiger and uh, at last coming to the last part of the story we will see the king died actually because of a tiger but that was an wooden toy tiger well the next character is durai what is a durai chief leader in tamil he also has a role in this story the next character is a british high ranking officer a british high ranking officer and is secretary he also plays an important role in the story next comes diwan he is a chief officer of the maharaja he uh, spent most of the time with the maharaja of pratibandhapura i mean with the tiger king the next character is durai sani durai sani means wife of high ranking british officer wife of high ranking british officer all the characters uh plays important parts important roles in the story and kalki has presented the story very beautifully and the student i am sure uh as we discuss the chapter as we discuss the story you will Uh, like the story very much but before that i suggest you to read the entire text once before listening to my explanation of this story in this video i am not going to uh discuss anything more about this story we'll uh, stop here for today in the next video i will come up with a brief description and also i will uh, discuss the total story in detail so that it helps you in understanding this story nicely and properly thank you well here is the complete break up of syllabus of class 12 we shall discuss in detail and or in small parts the total syllabus of class 12 so see first of all in section a it's written reading unseen prose passage consist of 10 marks in your question paper you will see a passage there will be a long passage from which some questions will be there you are to read the passage nicely if you read for the first time and do not understand the passage go for a second reading thing is that you want to understand the passage just below the passage some questions will be given you want to read the questions find out the answers from the given passage and write down the answers which consists of 10 marks in this part dear students it's very easy to score 10 upon 10 this part is probably the easiest part during your school i would like to remind you during the school days many of you have done comprehension this is what is called comprehension so to score 10 upon 10 in this unit is very easy well coming to section b 
Section B is very interesting and this unit consists of say 25 marks into 10. Section B consists of 25 marks into 10. There are three subdivisions in section B. In the first division, you will have advertisement writing, notice writing, and poster designing. The three topics are interesting, consist of five marks. See, it's written mark, consists of five marks. This topic is very easy as well. From these three topics, there will be two topics in your question paper and you have to answer only one topic which consists of five marks. Advertisement is very easy. In our daily life, we all read newspaper, we all read magazines and whatnot. If you read newspaper on a regular basis, you will see there are some advertisements hey, regarding many things. For example, if you are to sell your car for example, you will of course write an advertisement in the paper. The reason behind it is people will read the newspaper and if anyone want to uh, purchase your mentioned car or whatever may be, they will of course come and contact you. This is what is called advertisement writing. So this topic is easy and uh, in some other videos I will explain, I will discuss in detail what is advertisement writing. This is just for your uh, basic information. Next comes notice writing. Notice writing is also a very easy topic. Uh, during your school days, most of you have seen many notices are being circulated in your school for many purpose. For example, if you have any exam of course you are pre-informed in the form of a, in the form of a notice if your schools for any reason are being closed you are served a notice huh. there are many there are some important days throughout the year there are many celebrations for example we celebrate 15th august we celebrate 26th january hmm. we celebrate 14th november 5th september and there are many celebration dates before every celebration day Notices are being served to inform the students about the schedule. This is what is called notice writing. So notice writing has got some specific features. It has got some rules. It has got some features. You are just to know and draft a notice. This topic also we will discuss in some other video in detail. Next come is poster designing. Poster designing is a very interesting topic as well. In the During the time of election, you will see many interesting, catchy, attractive posters are being uh, hanged, posters are being uh, put up in the public places for public information. So poster designing is also a topic in your syllabus. This topic is also important, interesting and you have to know how to design a poster because you may require this in your future days. So these three topics are there in your syllabus, two topics will be there in your question paper and you have to answer only one topic from this week which consists of five marks. Next is report or factual description, yes, F-A-C-T-U-A-L, factual description. This topic consists of 10 marks, 10 marks in one topic is a big thing, it's not an easy, easy thing to score, huh. you can say 8 or 9 upon 10, to get 10 is little bit difficult in literature. So report writing. This topic is not any topic to uh, you all. You have done this topic during your school days and I am sure all of you uh, are aware of writing a report. Still we will discuss this here because this topic is included in class 12 syllabus which consists of 10 marks. Next is factual description. Factual description is also not a very tough topic. I can say it's an easy topic. Factual description is a description of your experience based on fact. 
So some facts to be given and you want to narrate your experience. That is what is called factual description, which also consists of 10 marks. Well, the next topic from section B, that is advanced writing skills is letter or application. Letter writing or application writing is one of the most important topics in your total entire syllabus because it is not that a student of English or literature should only know how to write a letter or an application. Letter writing or application writing should be known by each and everyone across the nation because almost on a regular basis we need to write letters, applications to many higher authorities, to many people for different purposes. So letter writing or application writing has got a specific format, has got a appropriate, you know, what to say, uh, system. And you have to know that system, you have to know the format, you have to know the procedure of letter writing or application writing. This topic you also have done in your school days, we should discuss in detail because this is a topic which is there in our class 12 syllabus. This topic also consists of 10 marks. So, a total of 28 marks is there in section B. Well, next comes section C. Section C is scoring. Section C is really scoring because this is grammar. Examiner cannot deduct your mark if you write the correct answer. For one mark, you will get one mark. This grammar topic is interest. This grammar topic is risky but scoring. Now see how. See the topics written on the board. First narration, second voice, third tense, fourth is preposition, fifth is transformation of sentences. These five topics you have done during your school days. These are the topics which you are taught uh, since class uh, since class four, I can say, because these topics are easy as well as I told you scoring. Now, first narration. Narration consists of four marks. Narration consists of four marks. The narration which we have done during our school days are of one lines. But the narration which we will get in class 12 are not of one lines, are of three or four lines. So, but still the procedure, the rules and regulations are same which you had learnt during your school days. So, we will have no problem but still we will discuss in detail. Narration consists of four months. Next is voice change. Consists of three marks. Voice also is also an easy topic you have done during your school days. Tense, which is called the backbone of grammar. Tense consists of five marks. Tense is also an easy topic. Tense is also a topic which almost all of you have learned during your school days. Next is preposition. Preposition is a bit confusing. I agree, but preposition needs a lot of practices. If you can, the more you practice, the more will be easy for you. So preposition consists of four marks. Consists of four marks, which is there in our syllabus. Next, we see transformation of sentence. Also consists of five marks. In transformation of sentence, there will be some sentences. We will be asked to convert it into some other types of sentence. I am not going in detail of all the five topics. As time comes, story and gradually, we will discuss all the topics. Most of the topics of class 12 English are there in class 11 and I am sure you are taught nicely and perfectly here. But still we will again revise or rather discuss if we have any new topic here. Section C consists of 20 marks and it's very very easy to score 20 upon 20 in section C grammar. Just the thing is that you are to practice more at home and you are to know the rules of grammar rather than memorizing the sentences. Well, next comes section D. Next comes section D. Check sir. Section D in total consists of 30 plus 15, I mean 45 marks. 45. So, section D. Uh, 
is a prescribed text part. There are two texts prescribed for you. The main textbook is Flamingo. From Flamingo, you are reading 30 marks, 3 0. <coughs> there is a supplementary book. The name of the book is Vistas. And from that supplementary book, you have, you have 15 marks. From supplementary book, Vistas, you have any 15 marks. Now see what are the chapters, what are the topics included from both the books. If you look at your book, you will see there are so many uh, chapters, so many clues, which are so many points. All are not required. The required chapters are on the board, and I will tell you how many chapters are there in the syllabus. From the main type of flamingo, from the prose part, there are total five chapters. First chapter is the last lesson. Second chapter, Lost Spring, Heart, Indigo, Four, Going Places, Five, Memories of Chuta Sai. These are the five chapters included from the prose piece of the book Flamingo. So, the, most of the chapters are already discussed. Some of the video lectures are already provided to you and some more will be provided to you in due course. Moving on to the poetry section. There are four poems included in the service. First poem is My Mother at 66. Second poem, Keeping Quiet. Third one, A Thing of Beauty. Fourth one, A Roadside Stand. These are the four poems included in your syllabus. All the poems are very interesting. Uh, one poem, video lecture of one poem is already provided to you. The rest will be provided to you soon. Moving on to the supplementary text, that is Vistas. Vistas. The book Vistas has many chapters. Out of those many, only six chapters are there in your syllabus. Consists of 15 marks. From the Vistas book, one question of seven mark comes in exam. And 7 plus 8 is 15. For 8, 4 questions will be there. Each question will have 2 marks. 4 into 8 plus 7 is 15 marks. From Flamingo, there are 1 mark questions, 2 mark questions, and 5 mark questions. 1 5 mark question is there. So, now see. The chapters which are there from Vistas is the Tiger King, Journey to the End of the Earth, On the Face Street, Memories of Childhood, The Enemy, and Mark View. These are the six topics or other chapters which are there in your syllabus from the book Vistas. So, this is the total entire syllabus of class 12. Dear yes, students, before moving on to discussion of a specific Topic, let me tell you one thing. People say that people say that it's very tough to score 10 percent or even 95 plus in English. But I will tell you it's not tough, it's easy. Now how? See the first section is section 8, consists of 10 marks. There will be one mark and two mark questions. If you write nicely, examiner will not deduct marks. Examiner will give you full mark. You can score 10 upon 10 from section A. Section B is little bit tough. The three topics from section B, sometimes marks are deducted. The major part of the marks are deducted from section B. So you have to be very careful while answering section B. Thing is that if you can write nicely, if you can write properly, if you can uh, present your answers in a very proper manner, perfect manner, maintaining all the rules and procedures and format, the examiner will not deduct marks, but will give you marks which you deserve. So, 
in this section be careful while writing answers write nicely so that you get good marks in section b because most of the marks i tell you are deducted from section b next comes section c section c is risky but scoring i told you before so it's almost easiest to score 20 upon 20 from section c because it's grammar it's like mathematics if you write one thing no one will deduct mark the examiner will give you full marks <coughs> next is section d that is the two prescribed text from the prescribed text normally if you answer one mark questions or two mark question and if your answers are correct the examiner will not deduct you deduct marks the problem is with, the, with, with one five mark question and with one seven mark question from supplementary text for five mark question if you can present nicely without making any spelling error and if your handwriting is correct you will get full marks for uh, seven mark question you will also look, follow the same procedure you have to uh, present nicely write the answer to the point skip or ignore unnecessary points and if your handwriting is good and if you uh, ignore cut marks in your answer I am sure the examiner will give you marks and ultimately the result will be good and it should be easy for you to score <coughs> above 95 in English this is all about the total syllabus.